Hello, ladies, how are you guys today? Good afternoon. Good. Hey, guys. What's going hey, on? How are you? I'm good. That's good. It's good Working to see everyone. Face. Saturday. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now, what time is that event, Lonnie? Um, twelve to four. It's a it's a day. That's the uh, opening with uh, Melissa Alexander and the Tracy Morrell show. No, that's at seven. I'm talking about the Red Oak Art Festival. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. okay. I have to be out there with a tent and a table all day and then come back for the um, exhibition opening. And that's at seven? That's at seven, yeah. Okay. All right, uh, Saturday at seven, I'll, I'm going to come by. Mm -hmm. So I want to be, you know, make sure I participate. Um, okay, yeah, we'll probably activity. start in the studio building because um, early voting will end at six. Okay. So I'll probably have the reception set up here. It's going to be a small reception now because everything's going to have to be pre-packaged. What I did last time for Miss um, Miss Symphony's reception, the um, what was the name of that? Freedom Drum, mm -hmm. Freedom Drum song. I did. Mm -hmm. I went to Sam's and got some of the Sargento snack breaks. Yes. Okay. And some chocolate and some bottled water and um. I think that was it because, okay. you know, you can't really have open food now with people breathing all over food Correct. and touching Correct. stuff. And, Correct. Yeah. Correct. So yes. I, I think that that's what I'm going to do again. Okay. It's going to be well, real small. Yeah, that's nice. I mean, considering I had a um, studio visit yesterday with OV um, mm -hmm. planning, you know, some things for her later down the line. And of course, you know, she wants, the grand of the grandest, you know, it's OB, right? I love this OB. Exactly, me too. So, and I, I don't want to do anything less than, you know what I'm saying? At, her, um, so. Aviation? Yes, it will be more of the latter part because you know that uh, site is still being used for vaccinations. Yeah, when are they ending that or are they? Potentially uh, in March is what, I, is what they're saying. It could be sooner, it could be later, you know. Okay. But I'm kind of trying to, and I've, everything is going on in the gallery. Mm -hmm. So um, I showed her pictures and she was like, mm, I'll wait. Mm. <laughs> yeah, when so. is, when do they stop doing vaccinations? At five o'clock or six o'clock? At four. Oh, no, so no, 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 no. no. Have... No, at they, I think they do the last vaccination at three, but they close at four. So you okay. have the evening part of the hour. Yeah, to do that's space. what I was going to say. Yeah. Um, but that will mostly be isolated to like the uh, to the multi-purpose room. Um, the gallery. The floor, uh, well, the gallery is the historical gallery is the one that's unoccupied, but they are giving vaccinations in the contemporary gallery. So, right. So it's flooring and tables and um, the bio containers and everything is, you know, it's a full um, health initiative of, you know, yeah. community health initiative going on in there. So, yeah. So where would you put the quilts? I haven't put anything up. That uh, That is not the show that's up right now. It's uh, what I have in there is now is from the public art collection. Oh. So I haven't, yeah, this is what I'm talking with OV uh, is for 2022. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where would you hang it? In the gallery, but after, on the wall in the gallery. I have uh, hanging apparatuses, dial rods, rods and everything that I would hang. In but the, but it would be in the I mean, vaccinations aren't gonna be in there? This will be after, that's why I said she wanted, she wanted to wait. So it will be after the vaccines are over. But they wouldn't be, you know, after it's over, they'll be out of there and the flooring will be up. 
So it's okay. almost like they got uh, temporary flow, and I'll share some pictures pictures with you. But they have like hold on, hold on one floor. second, Tish. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tab the Center. Ty, before we started, I did get a chance to read over um, everything briefly. I haven't delved all the way into it, but I was reading it as I was getting prepared for this meeting. So, and everything looks fine to me. So I got it in Slack. Okay, cool. So, and I, I did get it via email as well. So, okay. So I put on there um, just like everybody has until October 21st to, you know, that. give it some thought and um, provide any feedback or recommended changes. And mm -hmm. then uh, we'll go forward with, with getting it all out. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we'll wait for the other members to join us. Um, I guess I have, you know, I teach at two, Lonnie, so I have to leave at like at the latest 155 to get my class started. What class are you teaching at two? Uh, painting with watercolor, oh, Zoom okay. class. I kind of want to get my mom involved in something, but. Uh, you should. I'll send you, well, we're about to be over. Um, we got, this will be. We have two more classes after today. It's an eight-week session, and we will resume virtual classes um, and offerings in January. Um, mm -hmm. By then, we may, I don't know, well, as I was just telling Lonnie, they're using the space um, for vaccination. So at the new cycle of classes, I'm not sure if we're going to kind of try to share the space with them and work around them or continue a strict, you know, strictly a virtual platform. But people seem to like it. They're participating and they enjoy it. So yeah. And then some, you know, Southwest have phenomenal classes too. So if they can't, you know, get a virtual class and she want to do it in person, they have a full menu of classes that cater specifically to seniors, you know, senior um, participants. I think I'm going to have to go that route because the senior center was supposed to be opening back in September, but now, you know, they moved it to January. Right. And so she's going to have to kind of be. Cool. What senior center, if you don't mind me asking, does she um, participate? Point, the Bowden Center. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. The one that's over here by us, um, the senior center in Palmetto, I think it's a Palmetto of Fairburn address. I'm going to probably say Palm Meadow, but it's a Fulton County facility, right on 29. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Just past that. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen no activity over there either. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So everybody got notice of the meeting, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, go Cedric. Okay, Cedric was trying to join. Um, I just said, oh, he is on. Yeah. I'm on, it worked. Okay, I'm gonna Cedric. turn my phone How's everybody doing? Good, Good. and yourself. Doing great. So it is one oh seven and one, two, three. We have three people on. Mr. Chair, we do not have a quorum yet. Do you want to wait for someone else to join? We can. Okay. What's your so we'll give them about five more minutes. That's fine. Okay. Did everybody get the agenda? Yes, yeah. thank you for that, Lonnie. Okay. I know it was a lot that I sent to y'all. The agenda, the J July 8th minutes, the mm -hmm. August 12th minutes, which there were no minutes, and mm -hmm. then the September 9th minutes. Now, are you transcribing um, the meetings yourself? Yes. You're doing an excellent job. Um, oh, thanks, thank Ash. you for that. Uh, I know on top of your regular task, that has to be, you know, a bit of a, a burden, but you're doing a phenomenal job. So thank you. Thank you. Yes, you I tried to get an app. I said to myself, hello. <laughs> 
I said to myself, I'm going to have to start doing them earlier, like right after the meeting. So I remember everything that happened because I was going back and listening to that September 9th meeting. And I was like, oh, we were supposed to do that. And we were supposed to do that. And we were supposed to do that. So Tish, do you have the Google link? I don't. I don't know the last time I accessed that Google link drive. I'm in the Slack and I'm going to go back and look and see if I can find that email from Myrna. Because I remember I sent you the Google link drive one time before, after Myrna had sent it. Remember you said it deactivated because you uh -huh. took too long to click on it. And then yeah. I would send it to you. And I don't know where it is in my email. And I haven't, and I, you know, it won't pop anything up to let you know what the drive is unless something is populated in it. You know, to okay. kind of give you a okay. notification okay. that something's been added to this doc, you know, to this folder. Okay. So I'll go back and look and see if I can access the drive. I think with Myrna being the creator of the link, um, she has to, because she's she like the- She has to send it back out. Uh, she has to send it yeah, back out. Yeah, because I don't have that or the um, Slack link anymore. Okay. I'll see if I'm in, well, I'm reading the- proposed steering committee um, document. But when, so mm -hmm. once we've had the meeting, I'll go back and um, see if I can resend you the Slack link. Okay. But you did question. get access to the emails. Um, one sec second century. You did get Ty's emails about the proposed um, action master plan. plan. Yes. Uh -huh, master plan. Okay, perfect. All right. Yep, got all that. Okay. Sorry, said what's up? Oh, no, no problem, no problem. I was just uh, just reiterating. I know I was uh, as far as the there were two things that I was supposed to read. One was the sort of like a profile. What was it called? It's I forgot the, the uh, uh, the, uh, uh profile artist sheet. profile uh -huh, profile sheet participant profile. Right, I never I never got one of those. And then the other one, Miss Myrna was supposed to send me um, what was she called? It was some type of um. Slack. Link. What's it called? The Slack link. What Absolutely. we were just speaking of. Slack okay. Link. Right. I'll just just to kind of keep so I can know, you know. Okay. Yeah, I didn't get it either, Cedric. Okay, that's fine. Just I yeah. was just, just sharing, kind of keeping everybody in the loop as far as information and things of that nature. So I just want yes. to let everybody know I haven't, and I know I know how it you know works. So everybody's is it tied up inundated with information i forget small things i don't know about anybody else I, yeah mm -hmm. if it's not right the thing i can't forget like so yeah <laughs> so it is 11 after mr chair and this co-chair what would you like would you like to call the meeting to order and then do a roll call and then um this meeting is recorded so we can we can't vote on anything but we can i don't know if you want to go over stuff or I said okay. let's move forward. We didn't okay. um, have our meeting on time last last, you know, at the right. time we were supposed to have it last week. So let's move forward. Um, I do want to go over, although we can't vote on anything, I do want to go over uh the master plan that Ty sent out. Um okay. as if it's just if it's you know just with the four of us, but I do want to go over it so it could okay. at least be in the minutes. Okay. So Cedric, you want to go ahead and call the meeting to order? Yes, uh, I'd like to call the uh, Arts Council meeting to order. Um, good to see everybody. Uh, also, for the sake of time, I think it would probably be the best thing to do. We still have just only an hour of free time, correct? Yeah, uh, about 40, 50 minutes. Okay, so I'd like to call the meeting to order. And then we can, if someone joins in, of course, we can fill them in and we'll, they'll catch catch up what we're doing. Okay. Second that motion. Um. All in favor? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, we can't vote. <laughs> yeah, we can't vote. Can't vote. Oh, okay. um, I'll do the roll call. We have Ms. Ty Mays here, Ms. Tisha Smith, Mr. Cedric Ward, and Salandia Aveni is joining. Um, no other council members are present as of yet. So we do not have a quorum, so we will not be voting today, but we will still be going over the um, public art plan. Thank you. So we're going to skip the approval of the minutes and go right down to the plan. Okay. Can I share my screen on this or not? Um, let me see. How do I give you share screen? Make her co-host. Click on her name and make her co-host. 
Okay. Do, 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 do. Make host, make co host. I'll make you the host. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of share this from my Google Drive so it doesn't look particularly uh, great, but okay. here we are. Um, That's good. So, <laughs> I thought so too. So basically, um, as we discussed in the last meeting, we want to move forward with getting a draft of the public art plan done and uh, utilizing the assistance of a steering committee so that we have community input on the process, uh, the stakeholder survey, and just kind of um, all of the the plans moving forward. So I put together um, a list of milestones with dates. Um, so first is the distribution of the action plan draft, which you all have. Um, and then the deadline to get back to me with the feedback is 1021. Um, after that, from 1022 to 1031, we'll be taking committee volunteers. Um, there's a draft of the flyer in the action plan, if you have any feedback on that. Um, 11 4 will be our first steering committee meeting, which we're going to do on Zoom at 6 30. We'll have our second steering committee me meeting on, at 6 30 on 11 9. And the steering committee won't need to attend both of the, these meetings, they'll just need to attend uh, one, whichever is most convenient. Um, then after that, we'll be ready to uh, finalize and distribute the survey and begin our data collection. Uh, January 14th, we'll have a draft of the public art plan distributed to the commission members for review. Uh, two, four, we will vote on the public art plan approval and adoption at our meeting. Two, seven, we'll launch our information campaign to notify the public that uh, we have a plan uh, and we're moving forward with sharing information about it with them. And so we'll have another meeting on 215 and 224 um, just to go over the plan with the public. And with COVID, I mean, I don't know if that's going to be a virtual meeting or in-person meeting. So we'll just have to see, uh, you know, what what things are at that particular time. Um, by 228, we need to be requesting a work session date to present the plan to the city council. Um, and then they will need to vote on the plan at a city council meeting, not the work session, um, after they've had an opportunity to review. And they can get that on the uh, agenda because I, they probably want to put it on there so that people can make any comments during public comment if they need to. And then uh, once that's voted on and approved, we'll ask them to add that plan to the public art ordinance as an addendum, and then we'll be ready to roll everything out. The only thing that needs to um, be rolled out immediately, or at least in place immediately, is the um, call for artists and artist selection overview. And so I have uh, a couple, um, but I think we probably want to use Fulton County's for right now. I think Myrna also had a different one that she used for the West End. Merchants. Mm -hmm. yeah. So probably um, we can get that information back, back out to everybody and um, kind of circulate and decide, you know, which one we want to use. But by our next meeting, it would be great if we can vote on um, artist, artist call and artist selection process because more than likely we're going to be probably having to review things uh before february of 2020 uh, yes i think so too yeah i agree um so fulton county master plan i sent in a follow-up email to you guys the 2000 uh 1995 plan the 2008 addendum and update and then the 2020 draft they're a pretty big file, so I put them in a Google Drive and sent y'all the links. Um, mm -hmm. So if you have any trouble accessing it, just let me know. And I can send it via like WeTransfer or something like that. Um, also in the plan, uh, proposed plan structure and format, you'll find just kind of like how the report will flow. So um, given an overview of what the commission does, the purpose of the master plan, history of public art in South Fulton, um, the vision and objectives and goals as we've developed them based on the feedback that we've gotten from the community through our stakeholder survey. Um, how the public arts master plans aligns with economic development and other city initiatives and priorities. So the city council has est established um, kind of a list of their top priorities. I think parks is number one. Um, so we just kind of need to make sure everything that we're doing are aligned with the priorities. And then because public art is funded through um, 
basically economic development. Um, it's the hotel mm -hmm. motel tax. Um, we just kind of need to make, provide information as, as to how the, all of that works. Um, just for transparency, an overview of the community engagement process. Um, and then from there, our plan recommendations, potential locations for future um, installations, all of our guidelines and pro uh, policies. And just to give you some background, um, when Folsom County first did their public art uh, plan in 1995, I believe it was like 1996 or 1997 where they determined that they actually wanted to have a public art program um, director, if you will. It was not, I don't think, a full-time job. And the budget for it was maybe like, I think it started out as maybe like 15,000 and they changed it to 23,000. Um, so as we move on in this process, we can talk about, you know, if we think we have staffing needs um, going forward. And then um, we'll do a template for public art project milestones. And then the addendum will include the uh, inventory of public art that y'all have put together, the full survey, all of the questions, uh, the results, and then just a glossary of key terms for any public, uh, members of the public who may not be familiar with some of the terms that are used in the report. Um, this is a copy of the proposed stakeholder survey. So you can take a look at that and provide me with your feedback. Um, we're also going to give the steering committee an opportunity to review this and weigh in before we begin the distribution process. Um, so time permitting, I don't want to commit to this, but I would like to put together a landing page just so that people can go to it for more information about, um, you know, what we're trying to do and accomplish and everything. So if I get it done, <laughs> I get it done. Uh, if not, you know, we'll go in a different direction and just try to provide as much information as possible. Um, and then once the flyer is agreed upon, I'll provide some copy for anybody who wants to share it via social media or um, with their HOAs and you know, however you want to distribute it. Scroll back down, Ty. Let me see this up full um, flyer. Nice. Okay, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. I didn't get that far in the um, presentation, but that looks good. Um, question mm -hmm. in regards to what Ty mentioned, Lonnie, how do you guys have um, from the arts division, do you have your own social media or your own? website or a, like she said, a landing page specific to the arts where we can add this as a, maybe a radio button to where it's, you know, the public can see it once they access your website that's already active? We can ask communications to add it to the city's website. Uh, what okay. we have for the Parks, Rex and Cultural Affairs Department is our Instagram, our Facebook page, and then we have a YouTube, no, we do not have a YouTube channel. The city has a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we have to go through communications to get anything on the website or on the YouTube channel. But as far as our departmental um, social media, we have Instagram, Facebook. I believe we have Twitter too. Okay. And that would be a collective of parks, recs, and cultural affairs, not just yep. the cultural affairs portion. Yeah, okay. everything goes on there. Yeah. Okay. We do not have a Southwest Arts Center page as of yet. I'm toying around with the idea of having one. I don't know. I, there had been some talk about it a while ago, and I think the idea was shot down. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure why. I can't remember the reason why. Um, but yeah, it might have to be revisited because it's too hard to get to anything regarding arts on the website, it, okay. the city's website. So if you go to the city's website, you have to go through a bunch of clicks and you have to know exactly what you're looking for to get to us. Okay. Mm. All right. Um, Todd, maybe we should like Lonnie said, have them, uh, Cedric, um, this probably would be more of a you to propose something that we can have that posted because we wanna be as transparent. That's the only way that we're gonna be able to get individuals to engage right. is that we have full transparency throughout the process. Um, I think Ty has put together a phenomenal um, action plan with respect to you know, some key deadlines and to be able to adhere to them, I think we need all um, 
active participant parties, and that would yeah. be um, the public affairs and relations and getting that uh, link posted sooner than later, you know, mm -hmm. um, once, even if it's just, you know, and I know we can't vote on anything right now, um, but even if it's just a flyer as a cover, letting, you know, to, you know, coming like soon, mm -hmm. steering committee information, you know, um, or whatnot. So uh, maybe we can move forward. Mm -hmm. If it's not there, maybe we can put that as a deadline of revisiting as well, Ty, with respect to um, the deadline for commission's feedback on the action plan, kind of see where we are with getting that done as well. It, and if it is even, even possible before we start having these um, meetings um, with the public. I agree. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I think if we email Gary like a save the date kind of flyer, It'll go mm -hmm. out in the uh, South Fulton newsletter, and that goes out to at least 10,000 people because um, okay. that's through constant contact. And then we can send it out. Oh, I forgot about that. We can send it out through our constant contact list as well because we do okay. have a constant contact. Okay. What was the name again, Ms. Savini? Gary, Gary Leftwich. Leftwich, okay. Yes. Gary's usually pretty good about getting stuff posted. Hey, Ty, can you scroll back down to the flyer? Mm -hmm. I was trying yeah. to get zoom so I can yeah that looks really good if we could um get that resized for instagram yes, post absolutely yep i think well i we can't vote dang god yeah we can't yes. right we can't it is nice so um, yeah i think we need to get this out now absolutely so this this so you're saying they take the uh, flyer once it's readjusted back to the city so it's it's something that's on the, on the no later. Well, I would think what something that if you when you go to the website, people the citizens should immediately see it versus as you say four or five uh, clicks down to something that's right there. Right, it could be like a, a you know the radio tab where mm -hmm. you know if you hover over is able to take you somewhere else. Absolutely. Not necessarily just a blue hyperlink, but right. um, something with like the. Um, sign up by 1031, you know, something that you can see some of the graphics in it is not as large as the flyer, but it will then open up to the larger flyer and, you know, maybe additional information. But I agree with you, Cedric, in that regards that it should That's probably nice. be very nice. It is. I mean, yeah, it's aesthetically I, I, pleasing and everything. So I, I agree with you. We it. have to have everybody here to vote on this. Yeah, yeah, that's usually how that go, Lonnie. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, let me ask you this. Well, can we, do we have to wait to next meeting or is it something we can make an emergency call or a special? Now, probably 10 minutes. It wouldn't take but 10 minutes. Right. I don't, I, that, I don't know that we need a vote. And I, this is why I'll tell you, because I've actually done graphic design for the city before. Okay. Um, and they don't ever vote on any of that stuff. They just send it and they put it up on the website. Okay, good. Okay, great. Well, I mean, I mean, we I, definitely want feedback from the commission. The uh, action, the commission right. Members. Right, um, right. But yeah, I so let's do this. On apply. I mean, and you've already sent the information out. So uh, it will be at the responsibility of the commission member to scroll through and look at everything to get an idea of what we're trying to, you know, what we will be disseminating. But perhaps um, Lonnie, once you summarize this meeting for those who weren't in attendance, make this a priority that we are looking for feedback on this flyer for the steering committee because we wanna get it out sooner than later. And please reference your um, action plans for deadlines with respect to, because we will need, you will need the uh, answers from the, um, from you know our thoughts from the commission sooner than our next meeting time. 
Well, do do they do, hmm, do they need to review the flyer? I mean, the flyer is great. I think right, the flyer is great. Right. You know, it graphically is solid. It has all the information in there. The only thing we need to do is make it live. So I don't think that you know, like I said, send a, shoot an an email to everyone that missed, letting them know, hey, we're going to be disseminating this flyer. Um, this is what we talked about, and we we need your input. Reference the action plan by the twenty first on whether you what you think about the action plan, you know, because yes. yeah. those things are going to need to be voted on and we need a quorum to be able to vote. We can't, you know, continue to delay voting on items because we don't have a quorum. So we right. need to right. make them accountable in participating, whether that's um, via email or, you know, a mid meeting before our next meeting or not, you know, so. Okay, so Ty, do you want to resize and send to Gary or? Yep, that's fine. Okay. And then copy me on that so I can send it out to our peeps through our um, social media. Okay. Yeah, send it to me too. I'll put it on my social media page as well. Okay. And, um, do the same. and if everybody, it's I'll really it important out. if everybody could send it out on next door. Um, okay. Because, you know, if you notice, um, like I can't see people. Me like messages from district seven i can only see mm -hmm. like people in my immediate area mm -hmm. so if, if everybody can commit to posting it to next door then we can make sure that um everybody sees it i guess the communications department can post it to next door as well but um i just want to get as much coverage as possible yeah yeah and as members we need to take an initiative to make uh, the constituents in within our district, you know. And I um, think the name recognition helps as well. Like, I think your neighbors are going to more than likely pay attention immediately to something that you post ra rather right. than what they might think is just like a general form. Whatever. Right, and, right, right. Right. Yeah. Okay, so we have our marching orders. Um, Ty is going to resize that and then send it to Gary and then we'll send it, she's going to send it out to all of us and then we'll send it out, disseminate it through all our various pathways, highways and byways. Um, are there any other tasks that we want to assign to each other? One thing that I would like to see us do if we can, as time permits, if we can all kind of um, going forward, try to bring one grant opportunity to, the, to each meeting. Um, because again, we, we are struggling <laughs> as far as funding sources. I so, agree with you, Ty, um, not to cut you off, but mm -hmm. I was just thinking about that. Like, I think in that, um, with the economic development being a, a sure and financial, you know, initiative for the Public Arts Commission, I think that we should also host a an annual um, fundraiser to where it's like a, a big event where tickets are being sold and the money's generated from that could go back into the Public Arts um, funding line for, you know, doing projects. So I think outside of grants, um, because we, we got to have a grant writer and someone who knows the grant processes, but definitely researching what's available out there that could be applied for, it could be brought to the table. But beyond grants, I think we need to make some um, surefire fundraising um, initiatives that will assist with funding the Public Arts um, Commission initiatives. Okay. I see Ms. Rowe just joined. Hi, Ms. Rowe. Hey, Ms. Rowe. Hello. Lonnie, is this correct where it says it's a little under five minutes left in the meeting? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, we do have a quorum now if we want to vote really quickly on the minutes. Is Ms. Rowe, is she here? Can she hear? Yeah, does she have she sound? Here? Are you hearing us, Ms. Rowe? Oh, she says she hears she it. She says she hears it, yeah, but not. Okay. I can't. Oh, she's on mute. Ms. Rowe, we wanted to vote on the meetings from um, the minutes from the previous meetings. Um, we do have a quorum now to do so. Are you able to do that? Okay. Yes. Okay. She can't talk. Okay. 
Anybody want to make a motion to approve the minutes from the July 8th meeting? I'll make a motion that we approve the meetings from last minute. I'm sorry, last meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The ayes have it. The July 8th minutes are approved. Anyone want to make a motion to approve the September 9th minutes? A motion to approve the September 9th minutes. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Ayes have it. The motion is approved. So we have approval of minutes for the July 8th meeting and the September 9th meeting. Fantastic. Yay. That off the agenda. Okay, next meeting. Is there anything specifically we need to cover other than um, the one grant opportunity? Um, we should have the flyer posted by then, so we should be getting feedback from that. All that's coming to you, Ty, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, if we could get, get, I don't know if this is an issue for anybody else, but the more social media stuff I have to keep up with, the worse I get at it. So yeah. it, for me, it's better for me to communicate through email instead of trying to put, go through Slack and then trying to go through the Google Drive. The Google mm -hmm. Drive is fine because everybody can see that. But as, as far as trying to go through Slack, that's an issue for me because I know I'm not going to check it. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest. Mm -hmm. if Without a email, email, is, email is easier for me. So we can limit yeah. it. The email is fine with me or for or phone calls or yeah that was easier for you guys yeah right so tish if you have that profile sheet miss rose says email too if you well, have that profile sheet do you have it i'm sure i do i'll go back and um check my emails and pull it up but i'm, I'm certain that i have it and i'll yeah, send it to you do, Cedric, if that's the case. okay if you can that's send fine. it to everybody because okay miss myrna and ty have filled it out i ain't filled it out i thought that's, i filled it out i don't know Mm. <laughs> I remember. I think I remember feeling. Okay, but I'll make sure everyone gets that. Yeah, please and thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's going to cut us off in about 25 seconds. I guess I need to upgrade to Pro so we can have more things. Okay. <laughs> How much more is it for more minutes? I don't know. Fourteen ninety nine. <laughs> oh, it's fourteen ninety nine. Is that a month? A month? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm. Public art might need to pay for that. <laughs> I might sponsor that. I might be. Well, time. I don't think we need to. I think we just need to ask Mr. Corey. Um, yeah, just have oh, okay. Corey upgrade the. Mm -hmm. Or give us access to to his to his. So okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Great. 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 All right. Um, can we get a motion to adjourn? I make a motion that we adjourn the meeting. Second. I second it. Aye. All in favor? Aye. And we have approval of adjournment. We will see everyone um, November 18th. Is that okay? Really I need the flyer too. I'm gonna. Yep. I'm yeah, she's gonna make sure that we yeah we all get that and everything. Yeah. So okay, okay, perfect. All right. And November 11th is Veterans Day. That's a holiday. And November 4th. Yes. That's a little quick. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. All perfect. right. So we'll see everybody again on the 18th. I will get these minutes out as soon as I can. Thank you. Yeah, thank you right. guys so much. Take care. Bye, you guys everybody. have a good one. Have Stay a safe. Weekend. Bye -bye. Yes. You too. Take care. Bye, Take care. Thank you.